Yeah. Oh, this is the frugal eclectic, otherwise known as noodle. And let me get my, I'll go ahead, oh, do this. Live chat. I'm going to go ahead and engage. And now I can, I wonder, you know, let's see, I'm wondering if I can, okay, I'll have to still do this. Okay, and pop out chat and then hi Judy go ahead here move it over and hello there CB pretzel my confused pretzel. Oh, someone's called Sweetie. Oh, how gaggy sweet. <laughs> oh, my giggles. CB. I cannot believe how many years have I been streaming and you have been so confused about happy goth oh my giggles can I just say it how am I today I'm okay I'm okay let me scrunch up my I don't technically need to see that. Let's, okay, so I'm covering up some of my screen. I can't see this any longer. So, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh. But, are you still confused? You now know what happy goth is, right? <laughs> Kalina. Yoda. 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 Yeah. <laughs> now. I was going to. Oh, this is as far as I've gotten so far. Oh, by the way, hello, Kalina. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, come on. Oh, all right. They're all right already. I better suppose I better do this just in case. I popped out chat and I squished over. So I better engage that this one because apparently it's two different chats. Okay, now. Hello, Linda. And um um let's see anybody else. And so anyway, this is as far as I've I found the I found the um what did I do with it? Come on, come on. Gum the mama, gum the mama, gum the mama. Oh, seriously. What did I do with it? I just did it last yesterday or the day before. Oh my giggles. Seriously. Bright green. You cannot miss this blooming thing. Of course, 
How many weeks did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is the stencil. You see, it has holes, but it's designed, it's on a, like a slant. And this is the stent. Um, I know it's, and for when you have, see, and for when you're like, when you're sewing pearls on and you want that Tudor style pattern for um, sewing pearls and sequins and things like that, it's always good to have this. <laughs> and that's what I wanted on this piece. This is a Shauna reject that I redid and I did backing to it. And then I now have stitching on it. And I'm going to put some, I think I'm going to put staple here and here and here, and then a couple over here. And I think I might, um, do some stitching around here. And then of course I have to work the back. I have to collage on the back. A dot grid diagonal. Yeah. And so anyway, um, I'm working on, this is that, like I said, this is that kind of, I'm working collage differently. I'm learning how to do bigger chunks of collage. And I just, see, I, what I did with Shauna's Reject is I just reworked it with pen. I just came in and doodled over it. And then I used a stencil and I, what did I do? I forget what I did on the back, but anyway, so but that's as far. So I'm, I'm like, Oh, I found it. I found it. You know? All right. And I thought this might be a, a pretty, cause they do that thumbnail, you know? Oh, my giggles. Oh, Galena, Galena, please, please behave. Please, please behave. <laughs> we don't want Judy without her filter. Oh, my giggles. I don't know what side up we would be. Hello, Christine. And let's see. Oh, hello, Nemi. See, I saw you. I saw you. You can't get me for not seeing you now. Hello there, Joan. Okay, I'll put this up. Oh. I'm okay, so you must be <gasps> about Joan's new stencils. Are you sure about that, CB? Are you sure about is Galena Galena might be an alien. I mean, for all we know, she might be an alien. Hello? Hello? Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Now, anyway, I was going to do something. And then, Eileen, of course, has been... Hello, Holly. Eileen has been bugging Janet. Nothing new. She bugs a lot of people. So you know what Janet ended up doing on Monday. Janet ended up liking what she did on Monday. The next day, yesterday, Kathy liked it so much that she did it. In chat, 
we were thinking, hmm, what can we do? Oh, my giggles. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yep, they were. Oh, do I need to know what's going on with Judy? Oh, my giggles. Do we want to know? Would it end up being TMI? <laughs> okay. Is Judy having issues? Again, I ask that out of like some kind of, I don't know, misplaced something. And then I'm thinking, even as I'm asking that, it's like, still, do I want to know? You know? <laughs> Uh-oh, she's talking about herself in the third. <laughs> we got to watch people. I'm telling you, you got to watch people who talk about themselves in the third person. Oh, my. Hello there, Linda. And I believe I said hello to Holly. Pretty sure, pretty sure. And, 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 and. Uh -huh. Now, so, okay. I, oh, and I haven't taken a picture of this yet, but I did get this done. And she's got two back sides, two back backers, because the first one is still blended in. So then she got, I glued her onto some words. And then, of course, she didn't have any hair. Well, anyway, then I glued her on and I walked away from her. And I thought, okay, I'll give her some ears. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one hangs a little low. Of course, our ears are always lopsided. They're never perfectly in sync with each other. Um, She's got one big fat mamba jamba ear over here. This one was a little bit better. Then I gave her fuzzy hair. Which is, yeah. I gave her fuzzy hair. So, yeah. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Mm -hmm. Hello, Safia. <laughs> Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okie doke. And then, as you can see, I've started some other ones. And, yeah. So, I did get that done. So, now, let me write down. Okay. And I think I started at, started at, I'll just call it. 957. Okay, now. Oh, hello, Camo Magoo. Okay. Now, oh my giggles, oh my giggles. Okay, so these will never go back into the kitchen because they've touched art surface. These are brand spanking clean coffee filters. I pulled out some of my drawer. These are things that I have purchased. I pulled out some napkin. All right. 
And so I was gluing something furious yesterday to get this prepped. And alrighty. Oh, let's see, where is it? Um let's see here. I had it here because I wanted to show you. And yes, one moment, please. Here it is. All righty. Now, um, I called Janet, um, her jelly plating, OCD jelly plating, because she jelly plates on top and then she does it again on top on the same spot. And I was trying to show, tell her, I was trying to explain to her that move the paper, move the paper, right? You know, but she just either, I don't know. I'm not quite sure if she, if she grasps the concept. Now I have to be careful. Let me see. Um, I have to get, this is the jelly prints and I'm sending Terry a section of this and the idea and I said I wasn't going to show but just as a see the idea the concept is to this is one that is it's a pastel this is one of the prints it's going to get someone's going to get this but this is the concept you start and then you kind of move it. You, you move it around. You don't just stay in one place. So I call it OCD jelly printing. And I mean that in a really not pleasant way. It's okay. You know, it's her way of doing it. Okay. So there's, see, there's a difference, but I decided the other day, Oh, I'm going to jelly print the same way Janet does. Cause I've never done it on top of one another. I've just never done that. Now, if it overlaps occasionally, that's cool, which forms this method, you know. So I did, and this is what this is my very first time of doing Janet OCD jelly printing. <laughs> let's see there. Let's see. Anybody? Uh, hello, Judy. Okay, I think you're new to at least my stream. So welcome, Judy. Oh, okay. Well, if we're going to initiate Judy, all oh my giggles, I suppose. <sighs> there. All right. There. So. And then I happened to watch, I happened to watch uh, an older, from 2016, uh, uh, Debbie Epps. Um, jelly plating session. I went back far enough to where it was just strictly jelly printing, nothing else. And I watched the whole thing. And she OCDs. She uh, jelly or jelly jelly Epps, Debbie Epps OCD jelly plates, and I'm like, seriously, what's up with this? But you know, it it does prove it's pretty, you know. So okay, so this is kamikaze jelly printing. Kamikaze jelly printing. See, and then. 
there's there's there is to be said something about OCD jelly printing. <laughs> now this here, I have I'm seriously clearing off my my phone, my pictures on my phone <laughs> because there are some serious like this here. This is one of my favorites and there's there's areas of this that I want to I want to take pictures of. So, you know. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up, guys. Yeah, see there's the bits and pieces of it that are just kind of cool and yeah, like this is one of my favorites. Yeah. So anyway, and there and this one, some of the yeah. And anyway, so thank you. There are going to be a few people who get them. They're, obviously, these are for the swap. And so, but what we're gonna do? I showed you that so that. I could explain the difference between kamikaze jelly printing and OCD jelly printing. And I noticed there's like a little bit of fuzz today, but I'm not going to worry too much about it because, you know, hey, you know, you get so sometimes, sometimes you can get so caught up in trying to make the lighting perfect that you miss the joy of just doing. Okay, so one thing I also I figured out is when I was doing this, and I know why I bought this 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 originally, this feather stencil. And what I did when I did this, and I just reinforced the reason why I did it. So what I did was I separated the one that I felt I would use the most every day. And I bought this one primarily as a dry tracing. This feather stencil, the primitive feathers from Patty Tolly Parish. And I did it. So I isolated this one and I'm going to be keeping it out and I'll just be frequently using it. So yeah, that helped me remember. Okay, anything else I think... I think we're okay. I'm, I uh, took out, I'm going to start some jelly prints for Debbie. And I took out some of my NASCAR. I have a 1996 NASCAR book. And I took some of these out. And I'm, you know. Here's the here the Winston Cup series and different things like this. And I'm gonna kind of for her, yeah. Some I thought I'll do some do some of these that she can just kind of play with with her her different things that she does. So and I've still got Lena on my mind. I'm still in the I'm trying to get all that done too for Lena. Now what, so what we're going to do is, this is obviously a Burger King bag. Now, hopefully I didn't miss anybody. Oh, they're talking about bad cop, good cop. <laughs> And, oh, Safia, back in 2012, we did our In the Dark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> CB, just, just, just stuck it in there. Hello, lurkers. Join the conversation. I don't want to. I'm a lurker. Leave me alone. Yeah. Okay. Just slap you one. Okay. Now, 
So they have their bags. And of course, you know, the extra $14, $15. Hello there, Eileen. Right now, that's not something that I can do. Just put that amount of money towards those bags, which those bags are awesome. So what I did was I chose a plastic bag. It's a little thicker. It's one of these. Um, and see, some of it didn't get glued completely, but um, it's still flexible, but yet it has changed the structure. This is, I glued medical, medical tissue onto the Burger King bag. And this one on this side, this is the side that I tore the medical tissue up and I painstakingly glued all the way around in little bits and pieces. And there are spots that I didn't mix. I didn't, I didn't get. Okay, I have I have the pop-out chat. So hopefully, so hopefully, okay, here. So we have to go clear over here. Let me get this. All right. All right. And see, here's the original. And what I'll do is I'll just make a corrugate bottom for this. Um, but this side, and then I let it dry. And then this side, I had a big enough piece that I just onesied the whole thing. And I had about an inch left over and remembering what, you know, I just over. So once this was dry, I flipped it over and redid it here. Okay. So I hurried up and did that. So what I'll do here, because this is a little bit fun feeling funky, I'll just do some stitching. Once I get this all figured out, I'll just do some stitching on it. Um, I'm doing my version of your and Janet's covering a plastic bag. That's what I'm doing today. So, so far this has stuck. Now I'm sure I could peel it off if I wanted to. And I used a mixture of matte gel and I had this much matte gel left. And this up to this line is me, uh, matte fluid medium. And then up to here is distilled water. And okay, so that's so here, what I thought to do is my thought, okay, let's just jelly plate on this. Okay. I figured, you know, why not do some jelly plating on that? And yeah. And just, so we're going to do some jelly printing on this. Hi, Janet. Let's see more. Okay. Something about OCD. Let me, I didn't see it. Okay. SpongeBob five years later. Okay. Well, she's explained the difference between kamikaze jelly plating and OTD jelly plating. <laughs> okay. All right. So, more on, okay. Mark, Jen is going to have margaritas. Okay. All right. So I think we're hopefully. I, oh, hi, Kimberly. Okay. Hopefully, I've said hello to all nineteen people and hello, lurkers, if you're there. All right. So. Oh, I figured jelly printing, but then oh well, I've got. Um. I've got these. I've got, I'll put these over here because I remember I have pop-out chat, so I have to work. Let me put my mouse over here. So I have to work like over here on 
I have to remember that I'm backwards. So anyway, that's what I use for glue, that mixture there. Now, as I get, um, I may, I may use a combination. I may go back some to some of this and I actually may use Mod Podge, matte Mod Podge. I personally don't have, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> yeah, blanket hellos and Jenna's getting drunk. Okay, okay, I'm not missing anything, and I've pretty much read chat. Okay, so we're good. Now, I could, I wanted this to be a bit steampunk. Now, Xandra sent me a chunk, and I don't know, I'm assuming this is some of the um, Finnabar tissue paper. And this is all I have of that. And over here, and then this is kind of a pinky, purpley, mauve thing with some brown and gray. So this could technically go together. But I kind of want it, I want it steampunk. I did bring out... some of my napkins I brought I did two of these because I figured these were probably the ones in terms of color this would probably be the one then this napkin would probably be the one that would work with these these two tissues so that's where I'm going there um but I thought let's start with some just some jelly printing to kind of get the ball rolling Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's just say that I didn't realize how easy it is to, let's just say I have texture because I pull the paint, I pull the layers of paint off. See, I, I've kept some of them. So I can sew, I can stretch out and sew on. So yeah, anyway. All right, so let's see here. If I'm going, if I'm going to stay with pop out. Judy. Hello there, Darcy. Oh, yes. I, back in the day, I sent Dee Dee a, a full pack of this and a full pack of this to give away. And I kept, and I kept one for me. And yeah, I have another one that's a slightly bigger. Hello, Darcy, by the way. Okay, and I might even use, I, um, I'm not into spiders, but when I saw this, they, the person who put this in, into design, the fact that they thought, oh, spiders into a, a, a damask-like pattern, I thought that was the coolest thing. This even might. Um, and I have my gears. I have my gear stamps. Both the ones that Mitzi did and the ones that um, Carrie sent me the parts. And I very painstakingly glued them together. So I had me some gear, gear stamps. And then, of course, I got this out. Okay, so 
Okay, we are in. We're in this thing. Here's the camera. Let me. Um, Eileen, one moment, please. And I know. Oh, my giggles. This is part of the swap, but I will show you. Eileen. Piffle. One moment, please, while I find a... Confound it. Eileen. There you go. A big fat raspberry. There. See? A piffle and a raspberry. Okay. <laughs> there. Is that bright enough for you? Primary blooming colors. Leave me alone. Do not bug me. I know how to use bright colors. Stick this up your nose. Uh-huh. Stick this up your nose. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorites. I'm going to be, I'm getting photographing this right in here because this is actually one of my, I, I, I didn't even want to give this one a, I did not want to give this one away. <laughs> okay. Now. Yeah. Okay. So, and Judy. Whatever in the tarnation made you think that you had had to tell us about moose poop? Oh my giggles! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jean. Now, are you going to not bug me? All right. Now, I think, did I say that wrong? I don't know. Yeah, don't bug me. I know how to use them. Oh, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, now. I'm going for the bright green. Oh, that's kind of a weird green. Well, I suppose we could use it. Oh. And just to bring him burgundy. All right, now.
Oh, yeah. I understand. I get it. I get it. Even as I roll my eyeballs, I understand, Jean. We will always bug one another. We can't help ourselves. All right. So, in spite of the fact that I'm thinking happy goth, oh my giggles, I am going. I'm going <laughs> to. CB. <laughs> She won't mind. I don't think. Oh, my giggles. How many years have I been streaming? And I've coined the thing, the phrase of happy goth colors. The other day we were in someone's chat and CB says, I still don't understand the happy goth. And Button, we now know that Monique Button is goth. Oh, we were in Shauna's stream and um, we were in Shauna's stream and, and then I don't know, then it was like the next day. So I don't know when it was. So maybe it was, maybe it was Janet's stream. I don't know when it was, but we were, and it was either in, anyway, and I found out. That CB has been confused all these years about what happy goth is. Because I guess, and I'm like, happy goth is, was supposed to be funny. You know, because Rach and Dee Dee bugged me the very first time I streamed. And I brought out, and I called it goth. And they both said, that ain't goth. And I'm like, I think it's goth. It ain't goth. And so I says, well, I'm going to call it happy goth. All right. So, okay. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> anyway, <laughs> now CB knows. And I stuck and I, I basically put my hands on my hips and just stuck my tongue out and said, I'm going to call it happy goth then. Cause you know, so yeah. And then I attached colors to it. So, okay. But anyway, all these years, CB has been confused. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Now, All right, now, okie dokie, what we're going, okay, I'm working here because I got my pop-out chat. Yeah, confused pretzel. Hello there, snorkel. And I'm hoping everyone is happy. Ooh, and some fingers. Ooh, maybe we can jelly print some fingers. But anyway, hopefully you guys are happy. And um, I may regret this. This is an older. And you can tell it's a Kelly Green. And you can tell it's a little bit interesting. It's still, it doesn't smell bad, but it just hasn't been used a lot. So I'm, I'm getting a, my hands will be getting a workout. Hopefully, I haven't missed anybody. Yeah, the mixture came out. But that's fine. It works. It's just going to be a little bit. More interesting and podesting. This isn't exactly happy goth, but like I said, since we're we're trying to appease the beast over there. 
Okay, I probably shouldn't brayer over that. Let me get... All right, well, we'll just... You know what? The paints have to go onto the floor because I do have to have some place to brayer. And I guess it would help if... I got this. Okay, here's this. And yeah, because this is what we're going to be doing. Okay, and we're just going to start. Happy Mermaid. Oh, that just sounds kind of weird. Happy mermaid goth. Happy jungle goth. Safia, what are you drinking? Now. Ooh, see what I just... Ooh. Wow. Okay, that's definitely... Wow, that's just kind of funky. Funky chicken. Do the funky chicken. Do the funky chicken. Do the funky chicken. La, 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 la. Do the funky chicken. Do the funky chicken. Okay. Now. Oh, ha ha. I don't know. Whatever. This sack is big, and that's wet. This paint was really wet. I may have a mess, but I guess we don't care. We don't care. Mm. This is basically just to add a little bit of color. And, you know, to help. And then it dries. See, okay, I, that's right. I look at my desk and I'm looking for colors. But I, then I remember. Now this, guys, I threw this out and then I picked it back up. It's the what I have left of the cadmium yellow. I added some... Miss, I think it was Miss or Velvet Brown or Mississippi Mud, and I mixed it with a little bit of the matte fluid medium, and I got this back out of the trash to have a mixing. Now this is truly a gruesome color. <laughs> It's kind of gross. <laughs> Even for me, this is like gross. <laughs> but, hey, I worked with what I had because it was an empty container and I wanted to play. All right. Have I made myself clear? <laughs> now, oh my giggles. <laughs> Look up. <laughs> Happy unwell stomach goth. Safia. <laughs> okay. This is what I used to do this. This big mamba jamba eraser shaped like a gear. 
Okay. One, two, three, four, and just a little bit right there, five. All right, now. <laughs> All right, now. And this is a big bag, but I didn't. It's kind of funky to work with. Yeah, but we're covering things up, and yeah, let's get, okay, we have to bring back some happy. Oh, my giggles. All right, now, let's just, because I need to do something with this color. <laughs> let's just, um, let's just add some quinacrinone magenta. <laughs> Here we go, people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And come on, that little, little seven and a half. Come on. There we go. All right. We got to make that a much happier color. Eileen might go to sleep if it's if a, we don't start putting more brights in here. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to, I'm going to, obviously I'm going to, oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to like sew up here. I'm going to do some stitches on it once I get it all decorated. I was going to do the, I was going to do my happy goth colors. And then I lean. <laughs> all right, let's see what we did. Let's see what color we made. It's going to come out rust. Come on. There we go. Okay, it's brighter. It is brighter. Oh, my giggles. It is much brighter. It's definitely better than it was. Here we go. Oh my giggles. Oh my giggles. It's a pretty color. It's much prettier than it was. I have to tell you on that one. Woo! All right. Now. Okay. Okay, now let's see. What do I have in here? Okay, do I can even open it? All right. Is that bright? Can I use that, Eileen? Huh? 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 Is that bright? Oh my giggles. Oh my giggles. All right. All right. Now. A spork. Let go of me. One of my favorite greens. Whoopsie. 
Okay. Oh, if Vaughn's here, I shouldn't, because I'm, I'm trying not to put you to sleep. <laughs> oh, my cute girl. That's pretty with the brown underneath. That's actually pretty with the brown underneath. Now this needs to go do it this way. Do it this way. Do it this way. Do it upside down. Do it sideways. Do it kamikaze. Now. I don't have room. I didn't prepare. That's the way it always is. You think, oh, jelly plate. I just need a jelly plate, right? And then it's like, oh, well, hmm. Okay, dry. Dry a little bit. Come on. Dry a little bit. Now, I actually think I want to kind of keep with this, um, the Azo gold. Just to kind of offset that bright. Okay, now let's see, where is my cardinal? Okay, it's in the other bag. Let me. Burgundy might be nice. All right, let's put a little bit on this side. On the other side, this is still wet, that bright green, but this part is dry. I have to stand up to get this accomplished. Ooh, this is going to be gorgeous. Okay, so there's that. Obviously, we're going... We're going green. So I'm wondering, this might be an interesting contrast, this napkin here, or actually even this to add to it. I want to get some of the coloring around the handle as well. Okay, so that's still a little bit damp. So let me see. This is pretty. Okay, let, let me see. This is. Okay, this is the um, cabinet and trim. An ultra white. So um, this. Um, it will stay a little shiny. It's supposed to be shiny. So let me, okay, but that is still wet. Okay, so, all right, let's do this. I'm going to get some yellow. I think yellow would be nice on this as a pickup. On to some, um, I have, let's see. Come on. Ooh, I wonder. Let's do this. Let's do some of the interference. The blue, but the blue, blue, black. 
Okay. Oh, this is pretty here, right there. That's pretty. Okay, there's that. Okay, where's my red? Oh, here. No, that's blue. All right, let's see. Um, huh. Where are my blue? Are my red? My blues and greens and my pink. Well, I said... That's just too weird because I had well here's a bright a real kind of a bright pink and if I am gonna go with the okay I have Lisa pink I don't know where my reds are they should just be right here because I've been working the red. One moment. Oh, there's an older red iron oxide. And now oh, that's still, that's actually the dark flesh. The dark flesh. This is a bright pink. It's called Sugar Plum. I know it's pink, but it's bright. And it would go, it will go with the um the animal print. All right, now let's, we are getting, I want some of the handle. Okay, I, I really don't understand where my reds went. I didn't use them completely. Well, let's see, maybe burgundy. Yeah, see, I'm thinking, see, it will go with the, um, it will still go with the, oh, where am I? Here. It will, the pink will still work with the, the animal print. Let's see here. Oh, that is just so weird. I don't think I want to go blue. I want to just kind of, if I do. Oh, is that going to be funky? Do you think this would be, you know what? Let's just do it. Oh, my giggles. This might be a little bit, come on. My count, my calendar, my my clock is singing to me. Okay. Um, stencil. Okay. 
and okay. <laughs> Hmm. If you're deaf, if you're working. Oh, I bet you this would be pretty. Hold on. Okay. That'll, actually, let's do some rust. I want to keep a little bit of that darker non-bright background so it shows through a little I need to get some on the other side and then we can start I don't know I'm kind of um I need to get some color on this side. So I have to stand up to Oop. Oh, that's oh, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Um, guess what? That's not going on. Well, it has to go on. Okay, it has to have a little bit of a matchy-matchy on this side. Or, ooh, okay. Oh, I like that combination. So let's see, where was I? We're going to do this. I like it because it went turquoise. It it just went really cool turquoise. Um Okay, where's another? Okay. Okay. I'm not paying attention to chat. CB! Oh, my giggles. Well, you just made Eileen's day, CB. I'm telling you. Oh, my giggles. Oh, that is very gorgeous. And then you got that hint of that bright pink in there. And even some gold from the last time I did some printing. Ooh, looky there. Oh, mama howdy. Okay, so it was this bright green. And it was, I believe it's, yeah, Mediterranean. And it had bits of this. And bits of this. And the rust. The rust, this is the red iron oxide. And that's what did the, that funky, that's what did the funky thingy. Okay. You could put some of that with the Lindy's moon shadow and that would be gorgeous. Okay, now. It obviously has not turned out the way I really wanted it to, but I guess we're going to have to roll with it, you know? We just have to roll with it. I'll do a little more of this bright green. And 
And I'll keep with the chevron. Yeah, I'm going to get, because it's still not completely dry, but, you know, hey. All right, now. I know, Eileen, I've never disagreed with you. I've never disagreed with you about that. I like actually mixing. Oh, interesting. I'm, you know, guys, okay, I, this medical, okay, so here's this, right? You get actually quite nice print, but this medical, this medical tissue on top of the plastic, but look at guys, how, Look how that, see how it's left some, but it's distressed. So that combination of um, plastic bag and um, okay, let's do, I actually like it. Let's just play with it. A little bit of that. And this time we're going to do the red oxide right next to it. And Lisa Pink. Actually, no. We're going to do quinacrinone magenta. Because, again, we have that. This is a bright. It's it's a It makes things bright, even though someone might not consider it. This is a bright, this ends up being a bright combination. And this, it has its own piece of paper. This brush off will have its own piece of paper. I'm changing that. Out. Okay. Oh yeah, see, I like that. Okay, and I'm going to actually do the chevron again, even though I have a chevron underneath it, I'm going to do the chevron again there and have to stand up to do this. Um, let's actually just do this. Ah, still wet. But okay. Now you can still you can take some of the other some more of the medical tissue. You can do some stamping on it. Oh, look at there. Oh, interesting. I had some olive green on the stencil. And that's pulled that up. Okay. Now, on this one, let us the azure gold. Okay, and this one I think I'll pick up on paper and I think we're just going to have to do the rest of it. I've done. Come on, don't do that. Come on. Okay. 
Okay, now. I think we're going to have to. Um, the rest of it, I think, is just going to have to be napkin and. All right. I'll see which one do I want. Um, these two. Okay, these two will go right here. And then this here, I'm going to go here. All right. Now, while well, that... Um, put the lid on this. And from here on, we'll just do some... Um, other stuff because I, you know, we'll get the napkins going on this. And I have to do a little bit of a pull. Ooh, we might even bring back some of this weird. Okay, so there's that. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I like it. All right, now we have this is what we have left on this on the fork. And this, I'll do a little bit of to get this. And this is going to be, I'll, this is as far as I'm going to go on this. The rest of this is just going to be, I'm just going to start gluing down napkins and other things. Okay, so I'll move this to the side for now. And we'll do a little bit of this cleanup here. I'm going to, oddly enough, I'm going to add this oddball color that I created. It's actually quite pretty for a brown. It's quite pretty. And the blue-black iridescent. And then Where's the bag? All this goes into the bag. Lids, make sure that all the lids are covered. I might leave out this red oxide and maybe the Mediterranean. But I'll, with the, I leave these on my table all the time because I want to make sure I use them. Okay. All except that, here's my one of my glues. All right, let's get this weird combination. Okay. Chevron, again. But sometimes, I find that these using the same, repeating the same um, stencil, but doing it in oddball ways makes for an interesting um, now this one I see black and white. Um, And this gets over here, what's left, and I'll do it in this corner, like right there, okay. 
I don't know if we'll be able, I might be able to use some of this with this. We'll see. It would be kind of nice to be able to use the, the um, Zandra sample that she sent me. That is set for the next time. What I want to do with this is this is the one for black and white, but what I'm going to do is put that just as is and brayer it a little bit to give it just a little bit of and let that dry and then this is the one that will have like some black and white with it I see I don't know I see black and white with this or like see for instance when this is dry I could do black and white see I can do black black ink here In fact, that I see that in a lot of these ones. That might be kind of an interesting combination of the chevrons and the harlequin. Kind of a whole, like a paper series, if you will. All right, so there's that. Now we can put the brayer. Well, wait a minute. This will dry for the next time, for the next pull. I've set that up and I will, and then we will, uh, it's not going to hurt. I've done that. I'm going to stick this up and it'll dry. Put that on the keyboard. This goes over yonder where it doesn't get touched. And... All right, now, I was looking through stuff, and I actually found, I haven't played with these in a long time, I actually found my wood, my wood stamps, and this old clock, and I go, oh! Kind of like primitive steampunk. <laughs> primitive steampunk. Sure, why not? And yes, I know. The Gentleman Crafter, Darcy and Jonna were responsible for this. They got him to autograph. And I obviously haven't opened them yet. I was going to share them with someone specific. And then she never answered me back. And so, you know, you know how that goes sometimes. Now here, I could do, I have... I found my big one of my big swirlies. Here's a um, um, a weathered fence that could possibly be, but let's just I pulled some of these out because I thought well, like little fillers when you're designing your own paper. All right, now I'm going to assume that we're going at this point. It's like, I, hey, I want to use this. Oh, it's been an hour and a half. Okay, now we're going to set the timer for an hour. And this way, 
one hour, not two hours. And there we go, one hour. There we go. Now, I don't know. There's a lot of the people out there that I just don't know. Oh, my giggles, guys. I got to show you something. We were visiting someone. We were actually visiting a couple. They, my husband invited them out thinking that um, we were going out to dinner someplace. And, um, and we ended up having a Russian um, from, this is um, someone, hi Dar. Um, someone from my husband's growing up years and an older sister of someone that he grew up with. And they live just like five minutes from us and we never knew it. So anyway, we had dinner with them last night at their house and this was sitting on the counter and I'm like, I go, Oh, oh it's a napkin, a burlap napkin. And I'm like, Oh, and I'm like, Oh, and I, and I'm like, and I showed her how I told her, we got to talking about how, you know, I, 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 I do art and mixed media. And then I'm like, oh, do you have any more of these? And I was showing her how to separate these. And then, you know, this is actually from a barbecue place. <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled. She only had one. <laughs> and I says. And she said, take it, take it. <laughs> I go, okay, I will. I'll have fun. I'll have fun. So just beware. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I always hate doing this. Oh, let's just do it the gene way. One moment, please. Come on. Participate. Ah, no. Come, found it. Dad, blast it. That's not what I wanted, and you bloom and know it. Yeah, I know. I talked the inanimate object. Just relax. Just relax. Okay. And of course, this one you can use as a ghost print. And this one, oh, wow. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Me like it. Uh huh. Uh huh. No snot rag for you. Okay. That. Trash tape. All right, now. This actually might be cool to use in some of the places where you have to blend. And we're going to try to blend this in. I, I don't know. It might look really gross. But we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, we're going to do it. Uh huh. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do 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 it. What are the dum dum? Now this could be a like a cushion color, like the one that kind of ties it all together. That's a maybe. Um, should we maybe? I did want nod to some of these things like gears. We have to at least try to put some gears in there and some harlequin. So I will stamp 
the puppies. Oh, I put it over here because I'm working over here because I have weird, I have the pop out chat. So I put my, all right. Now, hopefully there's enough ink. You don't have to be perfect. But this way, if I choose to have them and I have some, I can, if I go ahead and stamp now on my medical tissue. <clears throat> yeah, it's not perfect, perfect, but I guess I'm going to need to re-ink it. Of course, it could just be my ability to, the, my muscles. And I am kind of like, in my, in my brain, I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Because I mixed some colors that, I added that blue onto the bag. And... Yeah, see, that's a little bit better. But again, my muscles are just kind of, you know, I have to just be. I'll just re-ink it tonight after or today sometime and let it sit. Okay. One of the things I'm thinking about doing is some of you mentioned that you might not in might not be a bad thing for me to do some coloring. Now I know some of you are not into coloring, and that's perfectly okay. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna probably ever call myself a colorist and you know, but I do like to color once in a while and you know. Sometimes when I'm watching some of the color, colorist, I, you know, you just need to feel, feel like you need to get out something and do it. And so, you know, anyway, I was thinking that now see, so it's, it's a pressure. It's this different stamp because this is a foam stamp and the ink pad is just fine. So it's the pressure in the stamp. I can't quite. Um, alrighty. Ouch. Okay, now. And then I have the little gear, one or two gears that foam gears that Eileen sent me. And they got separated from this, um, my Mitzi and Carrie gear set. And I got to thinking that since I'll be doing it privately, that way for those of you who don't like coloring, you don't have to watch it. And my thought is, as an example, you know, um, Helen, her artist that she likes, Emilio Pucci, is I think is how you say it. I sort of recognize the name, but I'm not sure. And I thought, well, you know, I could, um, I could look him up and then I'm wondering, could I do a color or, um, do something, um, check him out, do a little note taking and see what kind of artist, what style he, he has and maybe do a color page in in his style or maybe he has some distinctive colors that 
you know. So that's a thought. And that that would be something that I could I could have an outline of what I looked up. And that would be a conversation. And it's, you know. Okay, anything else? Let's see. I, these look a little bit plain. I'm not sure if I need. I'm not really paying attention. For a filter for my fridge. And that says I am. Dar, I'm sorry. <laughs> but this way. For those who want to watch me do weird coloring, they at least have something, and I'm talking about something specific, and that's also helping me check some of these things out because you know you write them down. It's kind of like an extension. It's kind of part of that stoic thing that Dee Dee has. Is oh well, you know, yeah. Anyway. Okay, so this seems a little bit plain to me, but, you know, we'll go with it so far. Let me put the tape up over there, and I don't need these two. I've pretty much decided that I don't need them because I said that I decided to use that, to set that up as a next print and I was really strange that I don't I have I have a little left of cardinal and another red um rookwood is more bur a burgundy and barn red that's what it was I had a little bit left of barn red and cardinal red and they actually make an interesting oh here we go again I'm assuming I'm going to, yeah, that I'm going to need both of these prints. <clears throat> okay, I think what I, well, I'll just keep using this one my mix of Matt Joe. I can barely, I have my, my keyboard is completely full. All right, now here's hoping. We're just going to go for it. We're just going to rip these into sections. I have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14 and 15. Okay. We have an odd amount bag over here. And this is the one because of that Mediterranean blue is the one I'm like, ooh, I don't know. This one's not too bad. This side is not too bad because it has the blue in here. This. Okay. So. And, you know, it's, you know, 
it's um it's changed the consistency of the bag of the plastic bag see here this is the original see the original of the bag with the cover with the cover of the medical tissue again it's, it's gotten much stiffer and but it's still malleable you know it may not be perfect but you know working with what i have you know okay now let's just do that all right and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use this mix get my okay Hope you guys are doing okay. Of course, for the most part, you guys, you know, we we know well. And anyway, on this one, I decided that I'm going to leave the bottom plastic as is. And um, And like I said, I think for me, I want, I'm going to want to add some stitching, at least in the handle, probably all the way around. I will measure out um, Kurigit to go down in here. Um, I'll probably go ahead and do some stitching around the edges and the bottom. That will have to be careful because over here they have the inside tucked in. So I'd have to go in with one hand and sew with the other right in this area over the seam area on both sides. All right, let's see here. We may have to bring in another And this one is going to get half and half. And let's... I'm not... I'm wondering... We'll do a little bit of, we'll do this right in here. I like this right in here. I like this, this right in here. The way this is, I like that. Now, I'm kind of wondering if I should do this or this or even this here. In terms of color, this would probably be better because it's of the contrast, black and white. And this is kind of in that sense of brown and white, this. Um, I'm not sure about this. I think this would end up clashing too much. I think it would end up clashing too much.
but I do need something. What do you think, guys? What do you think to add to this? Um, one, two, or three? One, two, or three. What? Oh, Judy, what? Oh, all right. Confound it. Oh, all right already. <sighs> and that sigh was for Safia. What did you say, Holly? Oh, my giggles. Pandora wants to. Oh, there we go. So. One, right? One, two, or three. So let's see here. So far, it's this one. I love you, Eileen. I love you, Eileen. We're going with two. We don't have a lot of time here. We're just going with the two because it was two twos. It needs a little, I know, mixed media and I, yeah, the colors. That's what I, I'll give you an arrow. I'm telling you what, Eileen. I'm gonna bop you one. I'll send you out with the little bunny foo foo. I'm telling you. Just saying, I'll send you out with little bunny foo foo. I'll put Eileen to sleep. And then, 16, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then I will literally put a time, I, I'll leave a note out for little bunny Fufu -fu telling, telling him that Eileen's fair game. Just saying. Just saying. No, 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 no. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have, and I have to remember there's a, the other side. Uh, yeah, that would help. So Eileen disagrees with my choice. <laughs> That's okay, Jose. Okay, Jose. La, 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 la. Eileen needs to go burp. That's what I'm saying. Eileen needs to burp. I know if Vaughn, no, Vaughn's not, she's not lurking. Well, she might be lurking because she can't trust herself. <laughs> I totally get that. Oh, my giggles. There have been times where I would have loved to have said something, but I decided not to. Uh, 
I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. La, 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 la. I'm making a mess. Mm, have I got glue all over me? La 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 la. And no matter how this turns out, oh, I'm using it, guys. I'm using it. Oh, my stars. I'm using it. Send out hazmat. <laughs> Judy, you did not. Judy, why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep doing that to yourself? I've said it. That's one of the things I wanted to say. The last time you did that. Oh, my stars. Judy. I'll slap you silly girl. Hello, Debbie. Let's see now. <laughs> Kimberly, that's just too funny. Oh my giggles. Oh my giggles. Oh my giggles. That's too funny. That's too funny, honey. La 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 la. Let's see here. I have one, two. Three, four, five. Let's go ahead. No, let's do. Oh, let's just do it. Do it. Do it. Come on, let's do it. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. Now I'm seeing I'm, I'm humming little tea little teapot. Cause Judy blooming Judy. I'm going to only do one side of this because I'm I'm actually finding that I prefer to to let this air dry. Kim 
Kimberly. You love my little songs. Oh my stars. You don't like my art, Kimberly? Note to self, don't send Kimberly anything. I got to know these things. Okay. Oh my kickles. Note to self. Now, let's see. I need plastic. 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 La, 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 plastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I guess that's a good thing. No, now that I'm glad we cleared that up. Kimberly. Honest. I'm glad we cleared that up. All right. So here. Like I said, I'm only going to do one side because I actually prefer to air dry this. And I figured because this is a handle bag and this could feel a little bit hard in the hand. That's why I decided to kind of, in a sense, it will, it will strengthen it. But in a way, I'm thinking it will also help make it doing the hand stitching on it will actually make it softer. Does that make sense? And I could actually choose some fabric. I could choose some fabric. Now I could We'll see, actually, in the end, we'll see how this blend, once this all dries, we'll see, I'll see how it blends. And when it, we'll see how it looks when it's all dry and, it, you know, it's dry and it blend. It looks a little different once it dries. Um... And then I might have to use some stencil to maybe incorporate maybe some gold, some metallic paint. Um, maybe I could even use um, the Patty Tolly Parish Rose Gold watercolor. Um, maybe put, yeah. Um, I could use my, um, the doohickeys, my, um, my rubbing things. The ones that Eileen don't, does not like. Those things. Okay, I think now uh, let's see, I'll put this back and I need both hands here. Okay, so the handle is done.
it's a little wild. If you don't know it, look it up. Very jaunty and hilarious. How Tim do that? And maybe we'll do in a squirrel or two. So basically parodies. My husband used to do that for a talk show host. He would write parody songs. He doesn't do that anymore. Oh, I can't forget and just show you something that I ran across from years ago that I did. And I was, hold on. Let me see if I, it's just sitting right here. Um, okay. I, oh, I'm not quite done. I need to do this corner. Okay. So I, th I think I need to um, do, um, um, I guess, yeah, all right. Um, I overslept on Monday. I woke up at 3.30, and I'm supposed to be at the house at 3.45 <laughs> for my, so I had to end up doing it today. So I have that later on to look for, forward to my Pettibon adjustment today all right now anything else i like i actually like this down here Yeah, it's definitely an odd combination. Needle, I think it needs a little something here. Um, these will be, these are going to be, when this side dries, these hanging over here will go on to the other side. Um, I like this, but... I'm like, it needs a little something. Maybe, okay, maybe it needs that. Oh, guys. Yeah. Maybe it needs this. A little, just a bit of the ghost right here. Oh. Okay, now I have an idea. Something... I'll put this, I'll lay this out. And if this was the wrong choice, hey, you know, it's all right. Eileen probably thinks this whole thing was the wrong choice, but it's okay. I will move this. She has to admit it has color. <laughs> all right, so there's side one. In all its weird, weird glory. Okay. So, we have proven that this bag does work. It's awkward, but you can jelly print over it. Okay. Now... All right, now... Oh. Oh, crumb. 
at least it landed in a bag. Oh, that was a bullseye. Oh, my giggles. Now, bag, where's that bag? Okay, oh man, I stopped working in this. I stopped working in this because it got so heavy. But I wanted to show you something, a blast from the past. This, this is my own idea. It was based, I love this fabric. It was based on a Kathy paper phenomenon. And like I said, it's heavy. Oh man. Wow, my muscles are going to scream on this. But, and I figured, I devised, I put handles on it. And, again, you know, I love fibers and fabric, and I love this fabric. Okay, here's the beginning. And I was doing all kinds of things. These are, this is, um... These are all, this is um, machine stitched paper. Oh, I hope that an old ad, I hope my address didn't show. Um, anyway, these are all, I better not go through them all, but, and there's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, alumni. Yeah. Oh, again, address, confound it. Um, okay. And this is just old stuff that I did back in the day when I didn't have a lot of product. And I just, I just, um, you know. Um, things I liked. This was basic gray paper. I never got the paper, but I liked the, I liked the patterns and stuff. And let's see. Um, I'm looking for one thing specific. On the edge. This is tissue, uh, uh, this is um, not tissue, but this is wax paper, painty wax paper glued down. This is back when I was, tr when I didn't have the product, and of course I still don't have a lot of the products, but I was thinking in my brain about what products I could use. Okay, this is Ham and Mac Bake. This is a Jean a butterfly off a jean jacket. Um, come on. I'm like serious. I know it's in here. Um, again, there's all kinds of stuff in here. It's like all over the place um, but it's one specific oh seriously okay and yeah see I was doing all kinds this is baby wipes and just all kinds of okay um, I know it's here and this is more odd. To, I love the colors I'm playing with colors and this is actually stitching. Mm, come on. Well, here, let me, let me take it off the table. So it's not on camera and I got my glue. 
I, I'm going to do more glue, but I wanted to show you something. And I guess I, you know, this is spur of the moment. I guess I should have, you know, I keep thinking about it and then I forget to actually show you, you know, Tim. I know it's here. Okay, come on. Oh, wow. Oh, hey, here. Hey, Eileen, here's some bright. Ah! La, 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 la. Come on. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. Aha, here we go. Does anybody remember this? I did this on stream and this was, does any, oh, <laughs> one moment, please. That deserves this. Uh, all right, there's one more of these, right? Oh my giggles. Let me get this. No, it's too heavy. This one, oh, okay, it's the heavy, heavy, heavy one. Okay, let me, let me see if I can get this. There we go. Does anybody remember this? The rabbit trail, schizophrenia. When blogging goes astray and the subject goes off track, we need somebody tough to bring the conversation back. So stay on topic, ma'am, and let discussion run its course, sir. Try not to run afoul of the rabbit trail, enforcer. There are times when staying on topic is greatly overrated, and new intriguing thoughts must be investigated. So try not to apologize when in distraction snare, the rabbit trail enforcer is the one who took you there. And this is all about Dee Dee. <laughs> this thing, that's the rabbit trail enforcer. <laughs> it's stitched too. I stitched it. Do I have a date on this? This guy doesn't know whether to keep you off the rabbit trails or keep you on them. In parentheses, why was the computer proud? Why were why were the refrigerator foods afraid? <laughs> he's just he's hey hey he's adorable. He's just got this only a mother would love face. Hey, he's a door. I can't get him at because it's really heavy. And see, I put clocks in. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> Why was the computer proud? <laughs> hey, he's wood, Julie. Leave me alone. He's wood. <laughs> Don't you hate me? <laughs> no, because it made an important discovery. <laughs> We're talking popsicle humor here, kid. And I see, I drew an ink well. <laughs> uh, I'm like, I drew that and I'm done. <laughs> But yeah, rabbit trail schizophrenia. And I, yep, I, I, I sewed him in. Yeah, a wooden rabbit. Yep. But does anybody remember this? Oh, my giggles. Yeah. 
all about Dee Dee. <laughs> all right. I just thought I would show you. All right. Now you can put this blooming thing back. Love me this paper. Mm -hmm. Like you this paper too. Now, where's the bag I had this puppy in? Oh, oh Sapphia. Oh, man. It's a good thing I have handles on this thing because this thing is heavy. All right. So now, as I was sitting here gluing, it occurred to me that these things here would be pretty with some of this. I have to be careful because I have the other side. Now this is, I see black and white. I need a soft surface to help make that one stamp better. Hmm. Um, okay, ink. Of course, I bet you the blacks, ooh, the black soot. Well, let's try a little bit of both. I'll get the black soot or faded jeans, worn lipstick, walnut stain oxide, dusty concord, and linen, iced marmalade, marmalade, ooh, cracked pistachio, walnut stain regular, faded jeans, Oh, and this is Walnut Stain Regular. All right, well... We'll try a bunch of these. They're not black. I don't know where the black soot is. But we'll try some of these. I brought in the fired brick because we used um, that red oxide. Let's just see. Now we've done a little bit of jelly printing. This here I think would be nice with the with the um, fired brick, like kind of like over here. And I'm using the Harlequin because it's a lot like, it's similar to the Chevron. Okay. I should have gone the other way, but that's okay. Yeah, I think that was a good choice. I like the... Okay, let's do some tea. Tea dye. And we'll do it this way. And we'll do it off the. Mm. Ooh. Let's do this tea bag. Uh, 
And I'm actually thinking some of these, I'm going to glue some napkin on. Harlequin is one of my favorite. Houndstooth and Harlequin. Okay, the chevron's going this way. So, oh, crumo. Let's continue with that. This, so this is the bottom. This is the top. Or vice versa. But this is the bottom to me. Okay. Hmm. A little funky. But you can see it. Wow. Oh, well. Oh, my hands. Oh, well. All right, we're going to fired brick. Okay, this must be on the dry side. The the tea the tea dye must be on. Okay, let's just do it this way. And I know I wanted black and white, but I'm going to put a little bit of the tea tea stain in here. You know, because that's just the way I roll. I like the contrast between the bright green and the tea stain. Okay. Now. I still am looking at black and white for this. So. I'm actually thinking if that's going to be the case then I would have to take this. Let me, again, because I'm gonna set this up. I'm, yeah, I may have to get the jelly print out again and do some black and white jelly print. But I'm gonna set, oh, I'm gonna set this up with a little bit of tea stain. before I jelly print. And I got to think black and white. And I already have a chevron, but that one doesn't really show the chevron. So let's see. Um, all right, so there, that's set up for the T, for the black and white. Get out the jelly print and do that again. Now let's see here. Um, Let's see. Now let's see. Let's see. Oh, I have to see. I meant something about what is Dar Darcy saying? Something about whose colors? Darcy, Darcy, Darcy. I'm going back in chat. Okay. Oh, Safi and her evil rabbit. <laughs> That's just too funny. Okay, you guys. Okay, so... Her Easter pages are adorable. Okay, I'm not sure what Darcy... Okay. His colors are not happy goth, Joycey. Um, I'm not sure what Darcy was talking about. I told you. 
No, hey. Okay, so we are at two hours and 25 minutes. Now, there's still enough white on this that I can do that. Now, the other thing, I will off camera do the black and white. Black and white with brown. Well, because I like it. You still have white napkin with a little bit of tea dye on it. Okay. You still have a little bit of white coffee filter. A little bit of white coffee filter. A little bit of white speckles. Okay. And some tea dye. Okay. Now, I was eyeballing these puppies, and it was what we, which one was it? Um, it was probably this one. We'll do this one. I was thinking that obviously I have to be a bit careful, but I was thinking this actually glued. On top, you know, in places because of the coloring, you know, see, it'll bring out the the azure, azure gold. Yeah. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Just to see, because it's in my brain. It's in my brain. I saw it. I saw it. It's in my brain. I saw it. I saw it. It's in my brain. Of course, I could beat up the spider napkin and just put the spider in there, but I think it'd be a wrong. I think it would end up being a wrong way of doing it. So let's see. Did Darcy ever clarify what she um maybe Eileen will get her wish for bright colors? Now, Darcy, are you lagged? Or did I do something? Okay. Yeah, so now I've probably done this before, but it was the colors. The um, as I was looking off, you know, when it was sitting over here on the my um um what should we call it? My um keyboard. I saw it from a slant from a diagonal. I go, ooh, that would probably be cool with some of that neutral napkin. You don't need them. You don't have to have them, Safia. But you're the one who made a big stink about it. Just saying. So obviously when we talk about it, it becomes yours because you made a big stink. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see. The Gemini. Long since I saw them on the telly, they were. Crap. 
craft will make it or made the okay e bosser oh that would be pretty these would be pretty embossed wiki now oh i know what we can do since we're going to be here what, what two hours and a two and a half hours plus um let's see is Darcy okay? You could check sell sites for you. Oh, okay, Darcy is still here. All right. Dare I call you sweetheart? All right. Let's see here. Let's just out of curiosity take a take a what you call it coffee filter. And glue that puppet down. Okay, so it would be it would be rather interestingly stupid to do that. Let me come over here. Yeah, it would not work. But ooh, let's see about this. All right, let me see. Huh. Well, let me see. <laughs> All right. All right. We're right there. And we're ripping it, ripping it, ripping it, ripping it, ripping it, ripping it. Uh huh, ripping it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I suppose I could wet this down, but I didn't. I'm just, I don't want the butterfly to get in here. Eileen, are you still here? I suppose next week I'll have to get out my, I put all my, my, um, neon colors in a, in a container. We're going to just do it because I need to. I need to do it. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I need to do it. I need to do it. And actually, some of these are, these are actually bright in, um, in, 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 a, in a sense, they are bright. So, of course, now that I did this, it went more, it didn't go bright, bright. But anyway, I don't know. Well, hey, Eileen, here's some bright green. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. I need to glue it down. I don't know why. 
I got her. I got her. Don't tell the fly. Ah! I'm trying to get it perfect. Now, I suppose we could check the bag to see if it's dried any and see how it's doing before we Oh, that's not that's not the that's the lid. Okay. Wood, wood. Yay, green. Okay, what are we co what are we comparing to moose poop now? Dar, they told you it's advertised. Hello? I know what Joan said. But Dar, where have you been? Everyone's been talking about it. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Patty Tolly Parish. Are you so overexcited, Dar? Come on. Write that down, Dar. I like it. I like it. I like it. Mikey likes it. Oh. Now, do some something startling. All right, on this side, with the idea of the fired brick, although, ooh, pistachio, I have cracked pistachio and walnut stain I brought out. That's, I love pistachio. Oh, oh yeah, me like it, me like it, oh, me like it. All right, now, I think the chevron is dry enough that let's put, let's start putting some different chevron. And there's a little bit of the, you know, it's, you know, because of the glue over here, it's a little bit damp, but not to the point of being gruesome. Um, this is just for stenciling. The only time it gets wet is with the ink. Okay. And, you know. And we're going to open up fired brick.
and we will mix a little bit of, we'll start with the walnut stain oxide. get the green olive paint off them come on there we go Just doing some oddball. Ooh, hey, let's see what we can do. All right. We've got some stamps. Let's do them. Do it this way. And I'm just kind of, you know. You get an idea and you got to play with it. More subtle but that's okay now I'm actually thinking I want to go gears all right I'm gonna go with these with a black ink and that will be my black and white let me get the lid on this okay um, this here. My stamping surface. And I will start in the center with the medium size one. in the center. Mm. Okay. And I think we will actually have to be a little careful cogs make the cogs ok 
Okay. It may have been a bit bolder choice than I should have made, but I was kind of going with the... <gasps> Ooh, okay. Now I could, I could get, um, I've got this in like, a, I've got a Harlequin pattern, like in um, some um, found stenciling. I can do that. So I can also, okay, now let one, two, three, four. All right, let's change that to some pista cracked pistachio and see if this works here. Oh, that might not have been. Okay, I don't want that. I don't want that harsh line right there. So let's see here. Right there, I guess. Okay. Yeah, you know. One, two, three, four, five. I can need at least three more of those. So let's do a small, or actually do a medium one in half of the color. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and off camera, I will locate all right, let's see where do I want this one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it'll be over here. Okay. All righty. Those can dry. And then what I will do is I'll start, I'll, I'll hunt down my um, Harlequin found object things and work that in. I'll let that air dry. Of course, see this, this is, this is a, that trim, so it's shiny. So even when it's dry, it looks wet. So I'll have to make sure that I'll give this one a little extra time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, there's seven. I didn't overdo it. All right, now let's take a look. Let's see. Oh. Hi, Dina. Oh, Poochie. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't looked him up yet. I'm. That's. I think I'm going to look him up because, you know, like cocoa and mint. Um. Let's see. I'm going to look him up, and the next time I'm going to do a separate. I would ask Patty about that. Maybe Savia. Hi, Dina. Okay. Yes. Yeah. One. One of the girls here. Giving me a heart. Actually, several of them today. 
but one of them in particular doesn't think I know how to do bright. It may not be my favorite, but I do know how to do it. Oh, <laughs> I could just, <laughs> I can tell Eileen and Safia. <laughs> yeah, Eileen, Safia, see that? <laughs> now, let me go get the bag. Oh, my giggles. 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 Oh, my it's still damp, but it's getting there. Yeah, I think it's going to have to, um, it's going to have to have, like, maybe even the Harlequin, the Harlequin stencil. Between the Chevin on the Harlequin, I will have to come in and kind of do some blending with some metallics. I might, let's see. Um, one moment. I do have these. This one isn't as it's bright. And I ended up putting too much distilled water in these when I was softening them up, but so they're more liquid right now. But you know, hey, that's okay. I can always take some of it out and mix it with glue if I want to or something. I don't know. We'll see. But, all right. So, I've got those. Those would actually be bright. Um, I may, I don't want to, yeah. But I think so far, so good. On the, I don't think it, like I said, around the corners, around the, uh, around, yeah, well, here, the corner here, the edges. And I also think just for the fact that I would want a little softness here in the handle area, I'm going to actually do some stitching. And I will probably go ahead and pick some, like, um, just do some linen, strip some linen. And so there as well, that could be. But, and this is the other side. It's just got the jelly print on it. I really do like this here. And I love this. The way that um, oxide, that red oxide did whatever it did there. Okay, oh, hey, this is dry enough that I can actually bring this around and I'm going to glue that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's getting there. And I will purposely do some more of the this because I have it on this side. I'll do some I'll do some more of that stamping so the other side has the same thing. And that way it's not too, you know, see this little bit right there. Ooh. I can't wait. All righty. So, 
Let's see here. First time I ordered, you forgot to. Okay, let's see. The coffee filter on Joyce's desk looks like a cat upside down. Okay, cat. Um, this one, which one? Where's the cat? Which one? Which one? I've got like five or six coffee filters going here, lady. Huh, it could be somebody. It could be somebody I know. But they chose not to leave. Which one there, Darcy? Darcy. I don't, you don't, you no longer have a nickname because you didn't like it. So I don't have a name, a nickname. So you're just Darcy now. You're just Darcy. It was the way I said her name that she didn't like. So she's just Darcy now. Just Darcy. I think this was all the baby wipes. Oh, not baby. Oh, brother. I had one. Two. Oh, it looks like I only had four. These are the ones I had out the most. Let me. Yeah, <laughs> this one. The one with the gears. Never mind. The one before the last one. Hey. Hey. I will have to watch the recording. Me. Hey. Upside down turquoise. These are the two that I played with. Actually, these are the three I played with the most. I don't think there's a cat in that. Unless, somehow, maybe it's a rhino cat. This, let's see. I don't right here. It kind of maybe looks like a rhino. You know, the horn and a horn. A monkey with his oopsie here tail. The top of his head. The gorilla standing up. <laughs> so it's got to be one of these two. Huh. Upside down turquoise cat. Upside down. Upside down. Let's twirl it around. <laughs> oh my giggles one two three four all right one two three oops three four <laughs> this one oh my giggles huh upside down turquoise oh my giggles all right, let me see if I no, I could see maybe this where the ears might happen because of that. Okay, let's see here. See the eye at the bottom? You have to add the ear. The eye at the bottom, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. A cat. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Okay, so she said this is the eyeball. Let me put an E. In pencil, right there. Or actually, I just put an oh, I. Ooh, or guess what? Ooh, ooh. Let's just do this. Ooh. 
I let's see here. What can we do? What can we do? And let's do a weird chevron ear. Let's see. Where do we need to put the ear? Did the ear go there? We'll use this as an ear. Oh, maybe we can make a fox. Put the eye at the bottom and you'll see here's the mouth here's the nose so the ears go right there so should we do like make him a fox ear <laughs> all right so let's see here oh <laughs> <laughs> so she thinks this is the eyeball oh my giggles we're talking are we talking a rat cat She just do what you want. Oh my giggles. Hey, oh, I gave him a bullseye eyeball. Oh my giggles. It almost looks like a Tasmanian cat. Maybe it's a Tas. Oh, it was. <laughs> Darcy. <laughs> It was really pretty upside down. Oh, my giggles. Well, it ain't pretty now. I'm just telling you. It almost looks like a catfish or like something like, ah, I saw something frightening. It does. It looks like, ah, here's the eyeball. And now here's the mouth. Of course, wait, this is the eye. This used to be the eye, according to Darcy. Upside down. It was a beautiful cat. Yeah. But see, what I see is almost, it could be a hedgehog. Anyway, it's, it's frightened now. Oh, I got the eye right. <laughs> Just put an ear on it. <laughs> Put an ear on it. <laughs> I think I'd almost, oh, a laid back ear. You know, like, oh, I'm really frustrated. <laughs> We're talking cat here. Like, I, I'm, I'm, dare I say it? I'm, I'm P I S S E D. Yes, I'm pissed. Put a laid back ear. It'd have to be almost like a leaf. Do I have a leaf nearby? Oh, I took them out. Oh, I shouldn't have been organizing. Oh, my giggles. I want that really, that sharp leaf. Do I have anything here that I could get? Oh, I have an, the oval. I could at least, I would want to put the ear right here. So let me define the eyeball a little bit more here. And because it is a cat, we'll go oval. We're defining, doing a more ovally eye. So now, upside right. Ha <laughs> 
Yeah. And CB, CB is like, sure. Yeah. Sarcastically. Sure, Darcy. Sure. Oh, and now that we're almost ending this blooming, you know, episode segment, it's like, no, you know, see, had we known this, we could have told them before to pay attention. And like now it's just like, Darcy wants you to all go back and you have to see the pretty upside down turquoise cats. You have to rewatch. After you just got done watching, you have to rewatch and find that beautiful, pretty, upside down turquoise cat. Now, will we? Yeah, uh huh. I somehow don't think so. Okay, we can diagonally, we can kind of get, I'm going to uh, lay down ear. Like he's like, oh my. And I'll do some shading in here. So I remember this is where I'm kind of sort of wanting it. Okay. You can see a little bit of the shading. So if I want to put an ear in there, that might be where I put the ear. <laughs> okay, guys. If you need to, Darcy, <laughs> I'm going to have to write that one down. That's that's actually kind of a wing nut episode there. Where's my, oh, where's my whatchamacallit? Oh, my giggles. Darcy says it's at 40.00, 40 minutes till the end. Oh, my giggles. So you have to go back 40 minutes. You mean to tell me that we've been pinning the ear on the donkey for 40 minutes? Where is my thing? Anyway, I got, oh, here, like, duh, 40 minutes. <laughs> so if any of you want to scroll backwards, 40 minutes till the end, you'll find the pretty upside down turquoise cat. All right, now. And then she says, further to go down that blooming Alice hole, it doesn't say what the real time is yet until it's over. Well, um, Darcy, isn't that a bit anticlimactic? Hmm. Darcy. Um, and then, hey, Darcy, guess what? Hey, Darcy, you got Jean falling off her chair. <laughs> Darcy, are you drunk? Just got to ask. Yeah, down the Alice hole. Oh, my stars. Okay. And just in case, forget my eyeball, forget my laid back, oh my word, what have you done, mother laid back ear, or where are here, the possibility of a weird ear. Let's just twirl this one more time as we say goodbye. Oh, that might be a lizard. Oh, 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 here we come, here we come. Well, not quite, not quite upside down. Okay. But we're going to twirl it one last time. <laughs> okay. All right. We have to do this slow mo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 I lost track. Where were we? Oh, we have to end up over the... Oh, you can't see my hand. 
Oh, I can't see my finger. Okay, here we go again. Somewhere in there, there's a pretty turquoise cat. Just saying. Okay, guys. Well, oh my giggles. We did, we started my version of the Eileen Janet bag. And seriously? Oh, thank you. Ugh. All right. So then I had to glue. I had to glue some of my, you know, I had to glue there. And then we messed around with coffee filters. And Eileen got a little bit of bright colors in her day. Yeah, so now Eileen's a little bit happy because we do have some bright colors in here. And, yeah. That's if I find the cat head. Although, although Darcy, I do have a wooden cat somewhere that I could trace. And there, I could have it to where the eyeball is on the head. And I could trace around it. And then you'd have a cat. <laughs> oh, Kimberly, I was teasing you on that. You don't have to love my art. But thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for fat, 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 Yeah. I love you guys. And, you know. <laughs> now Darcy says, now it's at 47.35 because she keeps going. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's right. If I keep, oh my giggles, we got to go now because Darcy, ooh, ooh, it keeps getting longer, farther away from that 4000 thing. Okay, bye guys, bye guys, bye guys. You'll never find that. You'll never, if we don't go now, you'll never find that turquoise, beautiful upside down turquoise cat. Yeah. So, okay. All right. Love you. Bye. We'll see you on the other side somewhere next time. Or, yeah, whatever. Okay, we're ending stream now. We got it. Bye. But you got to go back and look for the turquoise pretty upside down cat. <laughs> Bye. Uh -huh. la, 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 la.